Hi everyone! This is one of our greatest videos that we are going to do. We are going to do a reveal of a 2014 lifted Ford Escape. I hope you stay tuned to see this. Hi! I'm Susie J. Cobwebs, and I hope that you check out the rest of my channel, which is a writing channel, a frugal tips, and self-care along the way. This is our greatest day of our lives. We get to reveal the lifted 2014 Ford Escape that we have worked so hard on. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to give the credit all to my boyfriend. My boyfriend has lifted up this car for me when we didn't even know it could be actually possible. So let me just tell you a quick story before I show you this perfect unveiling. A few months ago, a bunch of my friends were getting together and they are all a Jeep family. Now they are talking about lifted Jeeps, what they have to do to the Jeeps to make them look cool or even try to fix them because we all know what Jeeps are, they sometimes don't work. So as I'm in the middle of this conversation, which again, I don't have a Jeep, but I have a Ford Escape. I actually stated to them, well, if you can lift up your Jeep, why can't I? Although the guys in the group said, oh no, no, you can't do that. Well, first off, don't tell me something that I cannot do because I will figure out a way to do it. So, as I get on my computer, as I start crunching numbers and this, that, whatever, I actually found out that you can lift a 2014 Ford Escape. And it really only was a matter of a few hundred dollars. So, as I stated with the group, oh look, as I showed the evidence that I had to my friends, that they are, that we are going to lift up my Ford Escape. As I press checkout, this lift was in our house within a week. When you have to lift up a vehicle, you sometimes need new tires. I know, maybe I was thinking differently, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But I think that we needed to get new tires. So I went and I asked my boyfriend what would be the good set of tires that would go cool with my new lifted up Escape. And as he gave me the numbers, I looked them up on my phone, got all the numbers that I needed, and then they were on our doorstep within a week or so. As we proceed to go on to winter time, I understood that my escape really didn't need to be lifted for the winter time. I wasn't that over excited to get that all taken care of, but I was excited to get it all squared away. I wanted it to look cool. While living in Pennsylvania, we all know this type of weather. One week it may be gorgeous, another week it may be raining, or it may be even snowing. Who knows what Mother Nature would like to do. As the weather warmed up, and it was gorgeous out, it wasn't raining, it wasn't snowing, my boyfriend went out, checked the YouTube videos on how he could actually do such a thing, and it took him a few days to bag and tag all the different parts that were coming off of my vehicle, which this lift was not just an ordinary, hey, let's just take off a strut and add this and be done. No, unfortunately, he had to take a lot of different parts off of the car to add the small lift kit two and a half inch to the car. He proceeded to get everything else on the escape fixed up for me. So the only thing that we really had to do is to add the tires. Well, let me tell you, it is cool as shit. Sorry, didn't mean to swear on this, but it is cool as shit. So without further ado, 
I would like to show you. Here is my 2014 Ford Escape lifted up. It has two and a half inch lift with 235-65-17 tires, which also gives it a two and a half inch lift, which is a total of a five inch lift on this vehicle. Not to mention, we also have a black bull bar on the front. Also, we have to accent in a couple other different things in green because that is my favorite color. You got to give her a little bit, a couple of action shots here going on here. Look at those meats. This girl is a beast. Got a cool little pinstriping going on on the side. Sunroof. Actually, it's a actually it's my panoramic roof up at the top. So as I'm going around into the back, You always have to have a M&M sticker. I like the green M&M. She is my favorite of the M&Ms, if you didn't know that already. And if you look at these back tires, I know there's still a few things that need to be done quite yet, but I think the accents were a cool idea to do to this vehicle. Now, if to show you what the ratio is, whenever you're getting in a vehicle, especially like a Ford Escape, you actually have to step into the vehicle to get in. This is actually something that is just going to be you are now at level with them. This is actually from the driver's seat. You see how much you actually see from that driver's seat when having a five inch lift on your escape. a lot of people like to golf, to do baseball, to actually have other different kinds of sports. But this is something that I thought was really cool and frugal for us. Yes, did we have to need this? Probably not. But this makes me feel happy and we have a good running car. In the midst of all of this, while he was taking the parts off of the car, he actually fixed other parts that needed. So basically she is brand new underneath this hood. So I think that is even A plus in my book too. So I really want to give a big huge shout out to my boyfriend who worked very hard into making this dream a reality. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So I'm so glad that you came and did the unveiling with me of this new 2014 lifted up Ford Escape. How do you like this Escape? This is my little baby here. Did you lift up your vehicle? What do you have? If you like these kinds of videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can stay on top of the different things that we like to do around here. And to the next time, Love you bunches!